Tonight, the cleanup continues after a building collapsed in the heart of downtown Youngsville, and it closed off the main street all day long. That road just reopened just a few moments ago. That building was home to a well-known restaurant. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live in Youngsville, where crews were working all day to clear that area. Galat. Ron and Angela, and there are more changes to the building. This part of the building that collapsed damaged the two neighboring businesses, and those businesses have since been torn down within the past couple of hours. And even though that restaurant that was here closed in 2020, people we spoke to still have very fond memories of it. Amidst the rubble of a collapsed building. I had a TV shop here for 23 years. This was my kitchen. Our memories of Griffin's restaurant. So as a little girl, all I wanted was a bowl of mashed potatoes every day. And you uh, yeah, I was a waitress here when I was a teenager. So when I, we had history here. The restaurant was a town staple for decades. You talked about the community, you loved on each other, and you set a blessing together, and you had a meal together. The Youngsville Fire Department says the second floor collapsed, causing extensive damage to the Main Street building. The police department says the building is too compromised to be saved. Crews tore away at it into the evening. Property owner Matthew Winslow tells me he's been working to put a new restaurant there. That's the disheartening part is that we have been working for about a year now to find the right person to come in and take it and be part of the community and really come in here and rejuvenate it and put a nice restaurant in here. It was a nice husband and wife. We were supposed to start work on it like next week. Winslow says neighboring Brandy's Botanical is destroyed after bricks fell inside. That's very sad because it's the only floor in Youngsville and. Um, it's just sad all the way around for all of us. Winslow says Jubilation Spa is also damaged, but the two businesses at the end of the property are okay. So we have to figure out what to do with the two businesses here. The Pattons are thankful no one was injured. We look back, things can be rebuilt, people can't. According to property records, the building that the restaurant was in was built in 1912. Live in Youngsville, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you.